Mike was hiding Mike was hiding in a body bag. In his late forties, possible coroner. Let's take a peek. He's supposed to be dead. The fat deposits on his hips and abdomen suggest a fondness for bleeder burgers. He's a fatty. Probably about to find one in his gut, still in his wrapper. Right next to the bottle of scotch and pack of redwoods. See the broken capillaries around the nose? What the hell was that? Don't worry, it's just gas. No, no, it's reanimating. You want to cut it? Ah! Oh! <laughs> Back from the dead, motherfucker! Back from the dead. <laughs> Welcome to episode 15 of Let's Play GTA 5 with MC in the house. Come out! Hands in the air! Michael's got to uh, escape from this facility. First, he's got to find in the other room. this body and make sure it's not this guy that they're, the um, FIB's looking you for. End up on the slab? Surrender yourself. And then he's got to escape. So he's going to go check the toe tags of these bodies in the morgue. That's the reason for him to be in there. <coughs> and verify their suspicion that the guy's not that really dead. Right. That they faked his death. Guess you can't judge a corpse by its toe tag. I found the toe tag. Ferdinand Karamov. It's on some big black lady. Definitely not your guy. Okay. The agency have the lower floors on lockdown to prevent a leak. I got a guy who can cut the power to give you some help. But you'll have to get upstairs if you're gonna get out. Now it's time to escape. This should be fun. We're in a FIV facility. You! Freeze! Hands up! And they're armed and dangerous. All I've got right now is a pistol that I took from the guard. It's got a flashlight on it though, it's pretty cool. It's all a big misunderstanding. It's all a misunderstanding. I was not really dead. Pretty bloody already. Oh no, he says there's no way out. Oh, what time? You're done! You hear me? This is fuck! Takes a lot of shot to, shots to kill these guys. They must be wearing uh, body armor. I don't know what's going on here, but I want the fuck out. Shit, man. Man, look at the body count already. There's bodies everywhere. Oh, I've got a shotgun. Yeah, that'll work. Let's try to get a shotgun. Free, you freeze. I froze you with a shotgun. How do I get out of this place? Ah, that door's locked. That's nothing. Uh, no hidden door here. <laughs> huh. Ah, the stairway. He said to go upstairs, so we'll go upstairs and see what's going on. The going building on. is airtight. The building is not airtight. This is like a maze. That door is locked. No, you die. Take some shotgun lead to the head. Another stairway. A stairway that just goes down. Weird. Must be the top floor. Oh, here's another. That is weird how they divided the stairway up. So if you're playing this, remember when you get to the stairway that ends, you have to go across the hall. Okay, we'll go and make our way up to the top. With our bloody shirt and our shotgun. 
Oh my god, for you. This is me, shot. <laughs> yeah. You're that close to being dead. I am, once again, I'm not a shithead. I have no shit on my head. And your mama, too. I'm not getting back. You're dead. Oh, wow, that didn't kill him. Whoa, he caught me when I was reloading. That was dumb. I should have switched to the pistol. Alright, let's try this again. Listen to the exciting music in the background. It makes your heart race. No. Yeah, he's already died once. Why do you want to kill him again? Boom shakalaka. And once again, we go up here and kill these same guys. In this grand. All the way up. And we're just about back where we were. I told you I'm not a shithead. No, you're dead. Let's go get our gather guns and stuff. They're hidden in here somewhere. He said there was a bag with uh, of personal effects in it. Huh. Not sure where it is. Stop calling me that. Maybe it's in the other room. Wow, took two shotgun blasts to kill him. Let's check in here. Ah, there's my stuff. Nice. I got all my guns back. Just in time, there's nobody to kill. Wow. Alright, I think our car's out here, so we have to get through this window. Or a car. Geronimo! Right into the garbage dump. Into the dumpster. Dumpster King. Alright, we're just gonna grab a vehicle and get the heck out of here. This one looks pretty fast. And again, what time? <laughs> what time? They always say F you, but they never say what time they want to do it. <laughs> Somebody's screaming. Oh, we're on the railroad tracks. I hope a train doesn't come. Ouch. Well, at least they can't see us down here. That may have been my best move. Which was quite by accident. Oh no, they've seen me. This is crazy. So call me baby. <laughs> oh no, I went there but you weren't home. It's a pretty decent little sedan. I hope this chase won't take as long as the one where I was trying to get rid of the cops with the gas van for the jury heist. <clears throat> well, that took forever. Oh, we're starting to lose them now. And just play it cool. Oh, crap. Well, I guess he uh, won't have to worry about lunch. Oh, crap, they've seen me. I don't know why the cops would be after me. I know the FBI would be unless they alerted the cops.
All right, we're gonna lose this one. Lights are blinking. No helicopter after us. We should be about out of it. Well, you could go get you a drink or a cup of coffee or something. This is during this chase. It's taking so long. This is a 30 minute video. We're about a third of the way in. So feel free to get a snack or a refreshment. While I lose the cops. He said something was perfect for his Puma. And there we go. We're done with the cops. Hey, Mike. F. Hey, we need to talk. Quick, meet me at those oil derricks just outside town, El Burrow Heights. The oil and make derricks. sure you're not tailed. Man, that don't sound too good, homie. Look, I'm on my way. And we'll drive to the oil derricks. Fun, fun. Call Dave. Dave, the hell was that? You know how many spooks I just ran into? I'm sorry. They're not nice people if that's a consolation. What's going on? There's a big target out there. Something in the shadows. The data algorithms are reading off the charts. Whoever finds it, the Bureau or the agency, is gonna get a big bump in funding. Like I care about your funding. I'm out, Dave. You're not. I need you to meet my boss. We'll be downtown in the plaza between the FIB and the IAA buildings. The IAA building. You fucking kidding me after the spat I just had with those agency men? Relax. They won't be looking there. They never expect an inside job. Hey, that's that only human song. They're using the, uh, the commercials for the insurance. No, wait a minute. This is Radio Gaga. I'm going to turn that off. I'm trying to. Come on. Probably gonna get some copyright violation again. I see some bad drivers, but you Alright, we're almost to the old Derek. We could meet Franklin. Who wants us to go to the other side? That's weird. Alright, our car is all banged and shot up and all, but we're approaching our destination. And we're here. Hey, hey Franklin. What's going on? You gotta get out of town. Man, I ain't exactly got nowhere to go. Well, then take a trip. A long trip. What the fuck is going on? Things, all right? Things. Do you remember I told you I know people? Feds who looked after me when I retired? You did? Yeah, I did. I mean, I think I did. I don't know. Shit. Jesus Christ, Franklin. I got so many stories, I can't even keep them straight. I'm full of shit. Yeah, but your full of shit got me a lot of paper. One score with you, I made more money than I ever did hustling. Yeah, I mean, I'm a great thief, but you know, it's the other shit that I ain't got figured out. So what's the deal, man? What's the deal with the Bureau, man? This clown. I mean, he's an okay guy. Fucking cocksucker. We did a deal a long time ago. Didn't go quite the way it was supposed to go. Wrong guy got killed. So I had to go into kind of a, an informal witness protection program. He helped me. I didn't reveal secrets of his. And everything was cool. The problem started when recently I became unretired. I mean, he shows up, starts calling in favors, telling me to do shit. I mean, look, Franklin, I'm working for the fucking feds. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, fuck, man. Yeah, and that ain't even the worst part. <sighs> Did I ever tell you about Trevor? Hmm? Uh, man, I, I think so. Shit. Well, if you only think so, then I wasn't being completely honest. He's, I don't hell walking on Earth. That's what he is. Well, let's bury this motherfucker. Oh, yeah, good luck with that. Shit. I mean, Trevor and I got history. Complicated fucking history. Look, I've done a lot of things that I ain't proud of. Okay, I never claimed to be an angel. But you meet Trevor Franklin, you'll swear I am an angel. Trevor's a bad so mofo. So what's the mood here, man? 
I don't know. Fuck. He's I'm in a pickle. Gonna, you know, try to play both sides. You know, until I can find a way out of this shit. All right, man, look, man, you help me. The way I see it, man, the least I can do is help you. It's a death sentence, Franklin. Man, I, I, I ain't trying to hear all that shit, man. If the Bureau ain't gonna take you to court, the motherfucker's just hustlers anyway. And I ain't finna let no motherfucking cat think he's so motherfucking crazy, run me up a tree. Fuck that. <laughs> I can't run him up the tree. It, this means a lot to me. Like I told you, I'm a terrific thief. I'll find something for you. Big. Come on. You better take off. Yep. All right, man. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> and the plot thickens. Michael thought he was doing a one-time thing, a one-time job, and now he's right back in. We passed the mission. I hear flies. It's either nastiness or evil. Let's check these guys out. They're just standing around talking. Oh, he wants to call me names. I'll take you down. Let's bring it. One punch does it all. You think you're bad, boy? You think you're bad? You're kind of bad by knocking your headset off. Boom. Oh, he's a tough boy. He's a tough boy. Oh, you want to talk some junk? He's down. Oh, oh you're going to go down. Just quit calling me asshole. Ooh, he's a boxer. Ooh, he can punch. In the balls. He's down for the count. Oh, uh, the popo. Somebody called, us, called him for uh, us fighting, I guess. We're getting this car that's banged up and get out of here. All right, moving right along. This crazy guy smacking the shit out of his girlfriend. I don't know what to do. Oh, I remember this. Come on, I was prepared this for this. Way. She was screaming no, and he just kept hitting her. We got one. Go, go, get in there. You fucking move and you're dead. Give me the fucking. You must. Wait, this is the one I was thinking of. I wasn't prepared for this. It's the one where she says, uh. My boyfriend's having a heart attack. Yeah, you gotta be careful. These people will tell you lies and draw you into traps. Okay, we'll move along. Back to Michael's house. And we have another transition to put the time frame where they want it, which is daytime. And we find Michael watching an old movie. What is wrong with you smoking in my house? You know, ever since that psychotic pal of yours turned up, you've turned into an even bigger asshole. Thank you. Your support in my difficult times means the world to me. I've supported you. I left everything to come here with you, and still, that crazy bastard turns up. I'll handle it. How? I don't know. Oh, you know what? Just keep him the away crazy from bastard me and the children, up. you low-life, whoremongering asswipe. Did someone Whoa. say yoga? No, I think she said whoremongering asswipe. Hello, Fabian, <laughs> darling. <laughs> Namaste, Amanda. Oh, That's we funny. Like this. Yes. Oh, yeah, she's very centered. A regular you oasis of peace and tranquility, this with one. Anger issues and worse friends. No you wonder I'm so upset. You too, please. Namaste. We practice. Miguel, join us, please. No, please, no. No, no. The yoga is for sharing. Oh, come, come, please. Miguel, come. Oh. Awesome. Oh. So, Fab, if you can make me as happy and mellow as my wife, it'll be a job well fucking done. We are all on our own journeys, Miguel. Yeah, no doubts. Why is she driving a tank on hers? Oh my goodness. Perhaps to deal with your hostility, Michael. Now here is good. We have the sun and the moribunda. The asshole. Now we begin to put the asshole to the earth. 
Like this, we begin each sequence. Tadasana. Oh my gosh, he wants us to do yoga. Or mountain. This is gonna be interesting. Right. Un, deux, trois. Mouth and anus are perfectly in line. <laughs> Mouth and anus are perfectly in line. Un, deux, Now, my cat. My cat. I don't know about this. This is really weird. We'll do some of this. I won't bore you with all of it. Now, in through the bloated nose and out through those wrinkled lips. Out through the wrinkled out lips. Through those wrinkled lips. In through the nose. How mean. Out through the mouth. Strength, Mikkel. Strength, Mikkel. Air through the nose and out the mouth. Oh, he didn't say wrinkled lips this time. What a miracle. Wow, Michael. I never thought I'd see the day. I didn't either. Michael doing yogurt? In the nose, out the mouth. Okie doke. Okie doke. Exhale. If we put him on a six month kale only diet, he might just get healthy. I or doubt die. it. <laughs> He'd probably die. Now we will do something more complicated. Sometimes, when I do this pose, I weep uncontrollably for hours. What a weirdo. He's going to weep uncontrollably for hours. Oh, wow. Good grief. You feel that? The emotion inside? Let it go. <laughs> Weird. Michael, join us. I feel like I'm channeling bullshit right now. <laughs> That's exactly what you're doing. The silly man forgets to breathe. Silly man forgets Very to good. breathe. Now let it go. You feel that? Now, you breathe. Breathe, baby. Breathe, Pretend baby. there's a cigar in your mouth. <laughs> Later, you can show a stripper how flexible you are. Yeah, that would be interesting. Breathe, Mikkel. Because of Mikkel. Let it <laughs> you have come a long way today, Mikkel. Huh? Yes, later you will cry like a baby. Yeah, right. You're right. His chakras are completely blocked. Don't worry about him. Show me the downward dog. His I'm glad we have helped with your impotence, Mikhail. Impotence? What'd you say? Your sexual energies have been blocked for too long. Back into my pelvis. Back. Back, back. Yes, there. What? Mm. Oh, That's nasty. Oh, oh, what? Hey, enough of that shit! I don't blame you. That was uncalled for. Yoga is the answer, Mikhail. But what is the question? Uh, why am I such a moron? We are leaving and we are never coming back. Good! Good you rhythm. are alone, you pathetic psychopath! Ugh, fuck you! What time? Bony! French! Fucking Yogi! Ah. Well, that ended Jimmy, well. You still here? James! Go away! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Fuck you. You know what? If there was a rape button, I'd be using it right now. Unless you're a faggot and you like that sort of shit, and then I'll, <laughs> I'll just rape your mom instead. Oh my god. Nice TV. Did I pay for that? Yeah, you smashed the other one, didn't you? All right, come on. I want to go for a ride. I got to meet a friend. All right, so I'll go meet him with you. Come on, I want to get out of the house. I'm not going alone. Come on. This is fucking bullshit. <laughs> bullshit? Threatening to molest your online buddies is bullshit. Yeah. They're not my buddies. They're the only people you speak to. Yeah, if they're not his buddies, what are they? That was crazy, so where's man. Where's your friend? Burger shot? 
Ooh, burger yeah, shop. Yeah, nice to see the kids are still hanging out at the burger joints. Me and the guys, we'd go down to the diner after class every day. You know, get milkshakes, fries. What a fool, please. You know, you're really creeping me out. <laughs> I'm trying to relate to you. No, you're trying to take me on some nostalgia trip. You're such a cliche. Jim's oh, such a says psychologist. The dope smoking, game playing, live at home world owes him a living millennial. I knew it. I knew it. The mask was gonna slip. The monster's been exposed. The hell are you talking about? The real you. That bitter, vindictive old man. You pretend you're being a father, but you hate me, don't you? I don't hate you, Jim. How many times? I love you. Look, I'm sorry if I don't express that correctly. <laughs> Why do you think we're here together? Because you're scared shitless of being alone? Oh, Jimmy's now such you're a little an armchair prick. psychologist. He's not really little. Just like the rest of the city. Tell you Jay's a psychologist. Michael. Don't get surprised when some of the razzle-dazzle rubs off. Well, I thought you'd keep your head. You know, see through some of the bullshit. Maybe that's what I'm trying to do. If you think you're walking around a town full of idiots with your Midwestern picket fence values... <sighs> Midwestern really picket fence values. Friend? Yeah. Who talked really in such do. big words? Then please don't get weird. For once in your life, don't be weird. <laughs> Yo, oh, bro, man. What's, man? Up? What's, What's up, doing? man? Good to see you. What are you turning tricks to pay for this shit, huh? Hey, who's the old man? It's my dad. Oh, all right, Mr. DeSanto. <laughs> yeah, you the kid selling Jimmy pot by the pound? Mm. <laughs> Ah, Jimmy, bro, your dad funny, man. Come on, do this shit and let's get going. Oh, yeah, you, you got that other thing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, man, what the fuck? Jimmy, just, just hold on a second. Oh, all right, all right, later on. Careful with that. Hey, let's bounce. Bounce. You made a little drug we're deal. Is that what it was we're pretty obvious. Jesus fucking Christ. They didn't really come out and say it, but that's pretty obvious what they did. All righty, then. Now what? Can we just get back to the house, please? Jimmy wants so, to get back uh, to his video drink? game. I'm driving. Because normally you're such a between the white lines, friend to the pedestrian kind of guy. Fine. Give it here. This guy's an asshole. With me, you know from the beginning, I want to be your asshole. I used to be a stuntman and TV actor. I cannot understand policy at all. I need to okay, your turn. Maybe when we get home. Ah, who's the square now? Whoa, whatever he I'm gave starting you. To feel a little woozy. You're fine. It was no. not right. Really? This is not normal. Chill out. You're just paranoid. This is not paranoia. This is totally justified concern. <laughs> you should see yourself. Would you quit being what such a drama queen you? and get us to the house? Oh my gosh. I gotta stop. Oh, who was in it? It's harmless. Vets have been using it for decades. What? You anesthetize me? You a fuck shit? You. From yourself. Also, I took money from your bank account and I'm moving out. Fuck. What a prick. You're too crazy, Dad. Oh my gosh, he pushed him out of the car right on the highway. What an idiot. Uh, somebody's gonna drag him out of the highway. That's gotta hurt. Bald head right on the pavement. Now Mike was tripping. The effects of the drugs. He's hallucinating, seeing monkeys. Now he's an alien spaceship. Flying through the air. 
This is crazy, man. What do you want, Michael? I always thought I was the good guy. I got a bit of an awkward situation. I'm gonna kill her at the end, but she don't always. Whoa, that was freaky, man. Really freaky. That stuff really did a number on him. Okay, so he wakes up here in the middle of nowhere in his underwear. Thankfully, he has boxers on instead of like Trevor with the Jimmy, tidy whities You little shit. So Jimmy staged that. He gave him that stuff on purpose to make him uh, black out and have the hallucinations. It's starting to wear off slowly. He can barely walk. And he's he's still like real woozy. Still walking funny. It's like he's got a stick up his butt. Now finally. Head back towards his house. Whoa, you look rough, bro. <laughs> he says, Whoa, you look rough, bro. She got blowed back. <laughs> Hello. Hey, I'm home. Anyone here? Kids? Uh. No one's home. Let's go check around just in case. Tracy? Tracy's not Trace. there. Closet's empty. Amanda. Amanda <laughs> is not home. Let's put some clothes on. Must be just a closet. Where'd you get downstairs? I guess everybody's going upstairs. I'm back. I'm back, bitches. Ah, there's a note. Michael, I think you finally lost your mind. Your recent behavior and the company you've been keeping already had me very concerned. Now you've taken to attacking my Fabian, who is a close friend. And then Jimmy said you took drugs while driving him in your car. Well, we've decided to move out for a while. You promised me you'd change, and you haven't changed a bit. Oh, how sad. I know you say I always act like I'm in a movie. Well, this isn't that. I think I'm going to speak to a lawyer. I'm just oh. really confused. Please don't try to contact us and try not to get yourself killed. Amanda. Oh, how sad. Mike was all alone. Fuck. And that's where we'll leave this one. We passed the mission and Mike was alone. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode from the Duke Squad.